Making Sustainability Mainstream, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 114. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 114, May 10th, 2015 edition, the Mother's Day edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with video and pictures. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the web design specifics for the open source lesson plan. That brings this web page to 100% complete. Behind the scenes, we wrote the next 25% of our lesson plan with the central theme of communication also, and that brings that to 50% complete. Here you can also see the behind the scenes work we did on the comprehensive evaluation assessment and mutual feedback model we're developing for students and their teachers. This week's focus was on emotional intelligence. And Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished the final 25% of the image creation for the open source lesson plan mind map. You can see that here. And this brought the mind map to 100% complete. Paige also helped us create this new image for the Opposites lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source eggplants hub. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the open source radishes hub, which you can see here. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that feature radishes will be added here in the future. Behind the scenes, Benjamin Sessions is continuing the creation of our six-month-long buying list for recipes for the omnivore section of our food self-sufficiency transition plan. This last week, he focused on compiling a list of sources for purchasing bulk foods. We also added two additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are the vegetable stir-fry and the rainbow Swiss chard soup with leeks and corn. Both contain the weekly staple item of brown rice. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. This week, we added additional pictures and clarifying steps to number 6.8, cutting lumber and labeling pieces for the bed box. 
We also corrected some more measurements and began work on the assembly steps for the bed box. This brings us to an estimated 85% complete with this work that is part of both the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. We also began creating the 3D specifics for teaching the foundation details for the Earthbag Village structures. You can see those here. And behind the scenes, we wrote the final waterproofing strategy for these structures. We're 75% complete with what is needed for the site in this area. Beatrice Rodka, mechanical engineering student, finished Revit drafts of the net zero water use bathroom layouts. You can see these details here. And Sheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his seventh round of SolidWorks design specifics for the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included finalizing the roof design and developing the roof drainage system. Sayonara Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning design student, also completed these renders and design layouts of the initial Cobb Village Pod 3 designs. What you see here is the overview layout. Here are the individual structures featuring two floors and six living units. Here's what the insides of these units would look like. And here are initial ideas for integrating an outdoor group gathering space. All work done by Sayonara. Beautiful. Antonio Zambianco, civil engineering student, also finished the loft calculations for the Earthbag Village and upcoming crowdfunding campaign domes. Here's the first 20% of this information as the core team is adding it to the site. Now, Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, additionally created these updated floor layouts for the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4. Here's a side view. And here's a color render Nelly then made based on this new layout. The design team members from Team Brazil also created this second round of design layouts for the Earthship Village Pod 6. These included updated elevations, sections, floor plan overviews, common space layouts, new double unit layouts, and updated ADA and single unit layouts too. Last but not least, Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team continued their work putting the complete Earthbag Village into AutoCAD by adding in the first round of elevation details that you can see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Mike Babino, architecture and urban design student, completed a redesign of the Duple City Center living dome and stairwell and elevator areas, along with a broad diversity of other AutoCAD updates that will improve materials efficiency and make it easier to build. You can see these changes here. Behind the scenes, Mateos Bajerto, Civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics also finished the rest of the calculations and design details you see here for the Duplical City Center water catchment and storage. We'll now begin editing and open sourcing these specifics on the website. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team began formatting and transferring the work of Binru Chen to the website. Binru is an accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting and her work that we're open sourcing now is sharing the tax considerations and strategy of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. We'd say this developing work is now about 10% complete. Yusuf Suleiman, lawyer and member of the Nigerian Bar Association, also helped us create this first formal draft of our community member home and home shares ownership agreement. Once finalized, this document will be added to the One Community Legal page as an open source template for others wishing to form similar home ownership agreements with their members. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is making sustainability mainstream. The way that we are doing this is through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. This includes the physical aspects of sustainability, which are food, housing, and energy, as well as the emotional 
aspects of sustainability, which we define as highest good education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, or highest good economics so people can get out of debt or create financial security for themselves, as well as recreation models and true earth stewardship. Taking these two components and putting them together as a complete model that can be constructed as a total teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub to teach others how to live sustainably too. And then the idea is that if we create with the consciousness, with the highest good of all, bringing together people that are thinking globally, that want to do the right thing for humanity and for all life on this planet, and we make every component not only duplicable as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, but also as individual components, then what we are doing is creating an endless flow, an endless source of sustainable, open source, free shared, adaptable, modifiable components that can be implemented into people's lives the way that they want. This is how we're making sustainability mainstream. Our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the teacher demonstration community village city or hub lifestyle as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. And we think that that should be easy by building one community, allowing people and inviting people to come and experience what it is that we're creating, how we're combining the physical sustainability with the emotional sustainability, and how it can create a lifestyle that most people will consider to be far better than the way that they're living right now. Why? Because it provides more time to do the things that they do. It provides more activities and ways to actually use that free time that they have. And also because it's doing something good for the planet. It's giving more than it takes. And so in this way, we are building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. Creating a lifestyle and a way of living that people will want and making it easy for people to engage that lifestyle, to create it for themselves, and more importantly, to share it with others. This is what we're up to. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this is something that you'd like to participate in, we invite you to get involved and we have a lot of different ways to do that, ranging from the people that will move to one community and help build everything that is one community, the pioneer team, to satellite members, which are people that participate in our weekly planning calls and our weekly project team calls and are part of the decision-making process happening behind the scenes, to partners, consultants, and interns, people that are donating, volunteering their time to the one community project and just helping to move things forward in, with their specialized skills. Or, of course, just sharing our information on social media is also very helpful. We are on all of the different social media networks. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are, of course, on Facebook. We are on Sue. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. And we are on about 15 other social media networks because as an open source and free sharing organization, we want to get the information into the hands of as many people as possible. This is how we change the world. The more quality content and usable resources we create and the easier that we make them to access and the more people that learn about these things and start implementing them in their lives, the more our planet as a whole moves toward, the more forward, the more we're making sustainability mainstream by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough. And then the ultimate expression, of course, will be to build one community so that people can come and stay in an earth bag house and see if they would like to build that as their whole home or maybe as a guest house or uh, perhaps as just a studio or something like that so that we can build one community open source all of the different processes that go beyond where what we've developed already the tens of thousands of hours that we put into it already and taking it to the next level and so of course the the biggest thing that we need right now the biggest way that anybody could help is we're still seeking large-scale funding to get the property off the market for four and a half years now, we have been working with the same property. We've identified a property that is ideal for our goals of world transformation, inviting hundreds of thousands of people to visit one community over the next decade so that they can experience what it is that one community is all about and then decide if they would like to create something like this too. And then to allow us or to help us facilitate that process, to assist in that process, to expand and build all seven village models so that people can not only stay in an earth bag house, but they can, they can have the experience of a cob house or an earth ship or a straw bale home or an earth block home. All of these different things, making them available and easily accessible to people all over the world so they can come and experience it for themselves. And so if you're somebody that has the resources or knows somebody who has the resources that could possibly either invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization, we are a 100% volunteer organization. None of us are paid. And so every dollar that we get goes towards forwarding 
the one community goals, the global transformation goals that we are all about, and making sustainability mainstream in the way that we are doing it. So, as always, thank you for following our progress. If you'd like more details, visit our written blog. Um, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to receive an email update, you can also send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll put you on our newsletter list. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.